Hey everyone, in today's workout, we're gonna be doing an office friendly workout. So this was requested by Prepping with Sarge, another one of my fellow YouTubers. So he's got an amazing channel. Um, he's been a great, great friend to my channel. Um, he talks a lot about silver stacking as well as just getting prepared for pretty much anything, whether it's like a hurricane, a flood, making sure your car has what you need in it, lots of different stuff. It's really interesting and I've learned a lot from his channel. So definitely check his channel out. I'll link it uh, below in the description so that it's easy for you to access. Um, but definitely show him some love, give him some support. So for this office workout, um, this is something that you can do while you're at the office, um, while you're at work, just trying to get something quick in. So I'm gonna keep this one pretty short. But what you could do is, so if you do happen to have more time than what this sort of workout is, feel free to just add more reps. So you can do this. We're only going to go one time through uh, this uh, sequence. So you can always just add a second or a third sequence on top of this as well. Now for this workout, you'll need a resistance band. Um, if you don't have a resistance band, that's okay. You can just do it either without a resistance band or if you've got like if maybe if you're doing it at home and you've got like dumbbells or if you've got like um, a towel that you could use, um, anything like that. But again, you can also do this without just it'll be with body weight. And so you just won't get that sort of extra like oomph, if that makes sense. So um, from here. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Um, Everything's basically going to be about 10 reps, except at the end, we're going to be doing a one minute plank. So this isn't time based, it's rep based. So a little bit different from some of the videos you might have seen before. Um, so when you're ready, let's go. All right, so let me get my music started. All right. All right, from here, we're going to start with shoulder flosses. So what I want you to do is take the resistance band and I want you to take a fairly wide grip. And what we're gonna do is, core's gonna be nice and tight here. This is just a little bit of shoulder mobility just to get moving. So from here, we're just going to floss our shoulders back and forth. Now the important thing about this move is you don't wanna sort of kind of make your shoulders go back and forth. So what you wanna do is just make sure that you're holding kind of the grip far enough away that you can do this, you know, somewhat comfortably. I wouldn't say this is a comfortable exercise because it's not, but it's so good for your shoulders. So ready, let's go. So bringing it back and forward. That's one. Back and forward. That's two. Back and forward. Three. Four. If this is getting easy, you can always bring this in a little bit to get a little bit more resistance going. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. nine and ten all right hopefully your shoulders feel a little bit more warmed up now let's get into our core a little bit and still kind of using the shoulders here too so what we're going to do is keep the resistance man out like this and we're going to turn to the side and twist now i want you to really focus on engaging your core here so from here and then just coming to the other side so some t twists so ready let's go That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. 
One more. 10. All right. From here, we're going to take the resistance band and step on it somewhere. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 sort of bicep curls to shoulder press. So that's going to be bicep curl. So really activating the arm here and then pushing all the way up to the sky, to the ceiling. All right. So let's do this. 10 of these. So it's one. Two. Core is tight. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. All right, switching sides. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> the wind. All right, so same thing this side. So again, bicep curl and up. All right, let's go. One. Core tight. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. All right. Now, when we're using resistance bands and sort of using body weight, it's really important to try that sort of mind-body connection so that you're really feeling uh, all of these movements. So when you're using a dumbbell and you're using strength, it can be really easy to kind of just really focus on, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and so just really try to pay attention to that mind-body connection because that will really, really help to make sure you're feeling it and activating the right muscles. The other thing is don't forget to breathe. I know I'm not sort of giving cues for breathing, but remember to do your breath. Breathing in and out. All right. From here, arms are coming out to the side and we're just going to pull the resistance band. So I want you to bring the shoulders down and then just bringing the arms out. So you should feel this kind of in the shoulders and in the back area. So core is tight here. So one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, we're gonna go into monster walk. So what we're gonna do is take the resistance band and just tie it above the knees. So this is gonna create a little bit more resistance here in the legs to make some of these body weight movements just get, you know, a little more oomph. All right, so to start, we're gonna do 10 monster walks. And when I say 10, it's not 10 steps. It's gonna be going one way is one, next way is two, and, and 10 all together, if that makes sense. All right, so ready? So we're gonna come down, nice deep squat, activate your thighs, activate your glutes, finding whatever you want to balance. I kinda like having my hands together like this, but just do whatever is good for you. All right, so ready? So, walk. It's one. Two. Three. Four. Six. 
Last one. All right, coming back up. Just shaking it out. All right, from here, what we're gonna do is come down into our squat. Again, holding here. And we're gonna do heel lifts, 10. So lifting up, woo, try to balance here and coming back down. So that's one. Well, actually we'll do one more together. So starting here, one and down. That's one woo. and down. That's two, activating those glutes and down. That's three up and down. Seven. Come on, holding it here. Up and down. Eight. Up and down. Nine. Last one. Woo. Up and down. Ten. All right, coming back up, shaking it out. All right, now we got kicks to the side. So again, activating here through the legs, core is nice and tight. Maybe having your hands to the side here. And all we're gonna do is just kick. Okay, so we got 10 of those. So when you're ready, let's go. One, two, three, four. Filling this here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. All right, other side. Again, just gonna kick like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 10. All right. We're gonna come onto our backs now. So, we're gonna be doing some bridges. So, coming onto the back, seeing if you can kind of grab the back of your heels here. And what we're gonna do is just bring the hips up. I want you to tuck that pelvis. I want you to activate that core. And having the band around is gonna really help you activate those thighs. All right, so 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. From here, we're gonna do 10 push-ups. So turning around, option to take these on your knees if you need to, or I might recommend going into a negative if you can't do a full push-up. So full push-up, you're gonna get your elbows nice and tight to the body and coming up. A negative is where you're gonna come down with your knees up, then bring the knees down and come back up this is a really good push-up progression or just doing it on your knees like that all right so we're gonna do 10 together so from here let's go 10. one two core tight three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, take a little rest just for a sec. We're gonna go into our plank. So we're gonna hold this here for a minute. 
is where it's gonna get a little spicy. We're gonna hold this for a minute and then we're gonna go into our spider climbers. So I'll just show you first, give you guys just a little break before we get into it, okay? So plank can hold here, tucking that tailbone core tight. If this is too much, maybe thinking about coming onto your knees and holding here. Or, you know, if you need rest periods throughout the minute, just take them, right? We're here for you. You're here to get stronger, to get your workout in. So, you know, just do this at your own pace. Now, once we've done the minute, we're gonna do 10 spider climbers. So what that's gonna be is just bringing that knee to the elbow. That's one. That's two. And we're gonna do that for 10 reps, okay? Then we're, we're gonna cool down and stretch, and we're done. So we're in the home stretch. So let's go. I'm gonna start my timer now, and let's go. So just holding here, nice and strong, core is active, tailbone's tucked, putting some weight into your hands, Bring those heels back. Halfway through, come on, you can do it, hold. And if this is too much, you know you, so take a rest. Holding here, maybe starting to shake a little. Breathing through this. Last five. All right, from here, spider climbers. Bring that knee to the elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Dropping down the knees and coming up. All right, so we finished the workout. So I hope that was pretty good. Well, let's come to standing. Let's uh, get rid of this resistance band. Let's stretch it out. Oh, all right. So from here, just coming over one side, stretching out the side here. And then coming back to center, other side. Let's do that one more time, this side. Really feeling this kind of in the hip flexor, in the side, just opening up. And let's go back to the other side. And back to center. Okay, so from here, coming into a quad stretch. So a bit of a balance, just holding here. Just trying to let that quad release a little bit. Breathing through this. All right, switching. Using your balance here. All right, last stretch. We're just going to do sort of dynamic uh, hamstring stretch. So bring the heel up like this. And just using the arm to kind of just add that extra bit of resistance. Well, we're gonna stay on the same side and do this a few times and then we'll go to the other side. So really kind of feeling this, bring those hips back. And last one on this side. All right, other side.
I just lost count, so I think we've got one more, but if we don't, then just do the right amount. Got a bit distracted because I thought this thing was going to fly away. It's a little windy up here. Okay, so that's basically it. That's our stretch. That's our workout. So I really wanted to uh, create something that was pretty office friendly, um, that, you know, got the heart pumping a bit. There's no jumping, obviously, in this one. Um, something that, you know, got the heat up a little bit, but not too much because, you know, like you want to get to work after and you don't need want to have to feel like you need to take a shower or that you smell. <laughs> so um, I hope that that was, was good. I hope that that was helpful. Let me know below in the comments what you thought about this one. Let me know if you wanna see more like this one. And don't forget to check out my friend Sarge at Prepping with Sarge. Again, his uh, YouTube link is gonna be below in uh, the description. And you know, uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. All those things that YouTube wants us to uh, ask for to kind of help with our YouTube algorithm and help us grow. So thank you everyone for sticking around. You guys did amazing. So great work and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye everyone.